Um, I was lucky because uh, uh, I was spending a lot of time with my dad and, uh, and mom in a family business. That's where I started my, moving my first steps. It was a bakery, uh, still a bakery, pasticceria in Italia, regular dude, you know, so making cake, uh, making small, sweet, uh, this kind of feeling. I, I really like it, I really enjoy to see and then I wanted to do it by myself as well. But I was um, uh, spending a lot of time uh, in the nature because uh, I was living in the countryside, uh, checking new herbs, uh, discovering new things. Uh, for example, uh, a nettle. In the beginning it was itching, I was quite scary. Then uh, I asked my, my grandma because I was, she was picking and do ravioli, do sauces. And uh, what is it? And I was so, uh, straight away fascinated about all these herbs that could be you know, pick and uh, transform in food. There are, of course, the techniques that I learned when I was a kid. I am Mattia Ruppil, and we are here at Le Travi. Che cos'è l'amor? Chi vuole? Chi sferza il suo lamento sulla ghiaia del viale del tramonto? Alla macca gelata, che ha perso il suo gazebo? Since the, the early years of my life, uh, I remember, uh, uh, I have this picture of my grandma, especially I remember on Saturday, on Sunday, doing um, the, our uh, typical Ligurian pasta called trofie. But the trophy was the pasta that more uh, attracted me because the first one was a part of uh, is a part of uh, Liguria history. It's also nice the, the the way that you do with the, this movement of the of the hand and you create this uh, little um, short shape uh, uh, like a, looks like a worm. Because trophy is a Ligurian pasta, so it goes uh, uh, perfectly matched with the um, sauce, which is the pesto, the basic pesto. In Liguria, we're kind of famous for um, the pesto, for the basil, for the olive oil, and uh, the trophy with the pesto, with the basil pesto is a very, very nice combination. The Italian cuisine is um, based on uh, ingredients, fresh ingredients. Uh, uh, if you think about Italy, um, from north to south, uh, there is different kind of uh, um, like climate, um, and of course different kind of uh, vegetables, meat, whatever, cheeses. If you want to come up with a nice uh, pasta, for example, you just have to start from uh, good ingredients, fresh ingredient, uh, and you are probably 80, 90 percent of the of the of the work. The carbonara, first of all. Uh, I would say that uh, it's not typical from my, I just learned it during my, you know, traveling and, uh, and never meeting uh, people from Roma. It's very simple uh, recipe, just be careful to the, uh, just follow it, the details. But still the ingredients are um, uh, the pecorino romano cheese, the guanciale, which is the cheek of the pork cured, typical from Lazio, the region of Roma. Then you have the pepper and uh, the egg yolk and the pasta, that's the... Uh, but if you combine these four ingredients uh, perfectly, you become with some, I would say, magical. The natural wines uh, are, um, are wines that they are not uh, affected by chemical. Uh, the producer are allowed to add uh, is a little bit of uh, sulfites uh, while you bottling. The rest is uh, literally fermented grape juice. I met a producer, Italian producer from Piemonte there in Stockholm. He was there for an exhibition for a wine tasting. And I, I have the opportunity to talk with him and he explain uh, every step from uh, the, 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 the vineyard till the till the final product. Uh, step by step, what they do especially what they don't do or they don't put and I was straight away fascinating how difficult it is to come up with a nice bottle of wine because there's no tricks yeah I decided to come here open something simple so my roots the pasta and the natural wine the natural wine that here in Vilnius is still a new thing but it's coming, it's coming because there are already a few places uh, 
there is something is moving, definitely. Here at Letravi, we don't have any routine. Every day has its own uh, story. The menu, we're gonna plan it the day by day. Depends what you're gonna finish and everything. So I plan to do something, I go to the market, Hopefully the product will be there because if the, the, the product is there, well, we take it, we come here, we cook it. Otherwise we improvise. Uh, we like to follow the season, of course. We like to go and check the market, feel the atmosphere if there is something new, some new product, sometimes, sometimes especially the Timo Turgus, which is the, the market here in Ujupi on Thursday. Some producer, they come, Sometimes with a nice cheese, um, so maybe I go there, I find something, I arrive here, and I try to transform it, like uh, make it in food. Yeah. The only thing that only all the time you're gonna find it here, it's uh, spaghetti cacio e pepe and uh, carbonara, the two dishes that all the time you're gonna find it here. For the rest, everything is changing. To come up with a nice uh, pasta, I don't have to be any kind of genius. I just have to choose the right ingredient and have passion.